Welcome to another video. I am the Starman, and here I am in the countryside. Look at this. This is a bit of a different start to a video, isn't it? Yeah, look at this. We've got ducks there by the pond, but you wouldn't believe it that I am actually very, very close to one of the world's largest astronomical telescopes. Check this out. Just look at this right here. It's the Lovell Space Telescope. I'm at Jodrell Bank in Cheshire. There you go, look at that there, isn't it awesome? You wouldn't think it, would you, where I started there? We're deep in the Cheshire countryside here in the UK and one of the biggest astronomical radio telescopes in the world, a very important place in the world of astronomy. And I thought I'd show you around, so let's check it out, shall we? I've just paid my way in. It cost £12 to get in, and uh, it was £4 for parking, so let's go and check it out, shall we? Jodrell Bank. Yeah, look at this. So the radio telescope is surrounded by beautiful countryside, as you can see. When it was built, well, when the observatory was built back in the 1945, it was very, it was even more rural back then. And the radio telescope was put up out here because it was away from the interference of Manchester. So a bit like optical telescopes, radio telescopes, they can see through the clouds, optical telescopes can't, but they are affected by noise interference, radio interference, so it was important to have the telescope built away from Manchester, the city. Oh, look at this place here, what's this? I think this is new, by the way. There's a lot of new things here at Jodrell Bank since I was last here a few years ago. They also hold the Blue Dot Festival here as well, a very popular music festival, music and science festival, Blue Dot. What's in here? Mm. Oof, got a big blast of air then. Look at this place here, look. Wow, what's this? I think they have shows on here. Maybe they have shows. Isn't it fancy? called the Space Dome. Oh, look at that. It's a show. Oh, I might have a go at that. So these are actually slides, old slides of um, astronomical Im images of stars and clusters and all that sort of thing. Nebulas. Yeah, that's how they used to do it back in the olden days. And now in here, they've got uh, some old star charts. Stellarian. Catalogue Britannicus. A really old uh, writings here, astronomical writings and charts of constellations. I can hear eerie music as well. Ooh. Okay, so this is actually the Space Dome here at Jodrell Bank and uh, I've never seen it before because I've not been here for a while, but this is all new. And I just want to point out this window over here. You see that window there, that long, tall window, narrow window? This line down here is a meridian line, north and south. Now, when the sun is over, it's straight to the south at its highest point, the sunlight will shine straight down this line here. Look at that. How about that? That's interesting, isn't it? Now, as soon as it's three o'clock in the afternoon, it's shining over here. Amazing. Thank you. 
it's all new this the space dome here yeah and the diameter of it is 76 meters an auditorium and film for films as well that you can see in here we'll give it to see a show fox Well, there you go, that was uh, really, really good, that looked uh, like a planetarium shell, really, really good. I'm going to head back out now and we'll have a look at the rest of the place. Mm. Okay, so we're coming back out into the open again here at Jodrell Bank and we're going to check out the star of the show just over here the Lovell Telescope it's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Jodrell Bank look at this, we're going to walk down this path here and it shows all of the pictures in the Astronomy Photographer of the Year the 13th yeah, so we're now making our way now towards the massive dish as we look at these pictures here in the Astronomy Photographer of the Year Awards. There. Oh, look at that moon halo there, isn't it amazing? That is amazing. Gorin Strand. I've heard that name before. Yeah, there you go. Some amazing pictures here. Look at this one on Mars. Damien Peach. Look at that. That is insane. Look at that. How do you take that from Earth? Unbelievable. Look at this, another pond. And just beyond the pond are open fields. Look at that. Anyway, we're now heading to the main event. Okay, now the last time I was at Jodrell Bank was when the Blue Dot Festival was on. Very, very different because the Blue Dot Festival is a music and science festival and there's thousands of people here. Yeah, in the summer, I can't remember what year it was, but yeah, it's a really, really good thing to visit. If you ever get the chance to go to Blue Dot, if it's on again, I'm not sure what the dates are, but uh, we're now... This is the uh, the gift shop here, this building here. And look at this now. Whoa! Check this out, folks. The Lovell Telescope. This was used to track Sputnik and it put it on the world map. Yeah, they were just... I think they'd just finished building it. It went right over budget. And uh, But when they tracked Sputnik with it, it made this telescope world famous. Look at this. Wow. Just over there is the Discovery Centre there. They've got some exhibits in there to look at, but we'll just take a closer look at the Lovell Telescope, shall we? The sun's going down behind it, so it looks a bit like a silhouette. But yeah, here it is, folks. The famous... Lovell Telescope here at Jodrell Bank in the heart of the Cheshire countryside. It really is an amazing landscape around here. Loads of trees and yet you've got this massive thing sticking up. Isn't it amazing? They actually use a lot of old war machinery for to move it. You know, to, to move the dish, it can move around all directions. It can face any direction and they use tanks, um, engines from tanks, I believe, to to move it. Because it can you imagine moving this thing around? And they only use it at night because that's when there's less interference from TV, radio, and all other things like mobile phones and that sort of thing. There you go.
Yeah, so in here we've got all these exhibits here, look. Look at this. Great for the kids, this, isn't it? Look. Black holes. Alien life, we're all interested in aliens, aren't we? Look at this. Very quiet at the moment. But I tell you what, on a school day, it will be rammed in here. And I think I came just after two school buses left, so that's why it's so quiet at the moment. We're right under the telescope now, and I just thought I'd show you this little information board here on Sir Bernard Lovell, who was the man behind it. There you go, you might want to freeze it now if you want to read this here. Check this out, there's another massive dish over there. Look at that there. That's the control centre there, by the way. That building there is the control centre. Not sure if they still use it now or whether they've got a newer one, but uh, yeah, there you go. Look at this. Wowzers. And here's something else. Jodrell Bank is the headquarters of the Square Kilometre Array. The Square Kilometre Array is a worldwide network of hundreds of radio telescopes. They have some in Australia and South Africa and I think in other places as well. And they're all linked together to make one massive giant radio telescope. And the headquarters and control centre for that is right here. You know, I think they've moved it, you know. I've come all the way around the back now and I'm just looking at some of these wheels that I used to move it. Massive wheels. Look at that there. Look at those tracks. I'll tell you what, it doesn't move very quick. I'm just wondering whether starlings have a roost on it, you know, like they're doing Blackpool around the North Pier. It's been heavily modified since it was first built and the original dish is actually underneath the newer dish which was placed on top. I don't know if you could I'd have to have a look around the other side. A lot of this uh, structure here was, was built up on, on its original design, yeah. Yeah, the telescope dome has actually been replaced three times now since it was first built and the last time was in 2002 and it's the most reflective it's ever been, so it's the best it's ever been right now. There is a much newer building there, much more modern looking built. There's another dish over the back there as well which is looking strong, I'm not sure you can see that. There's another massive dish as well, yeah. But we've got old and new here, some new buildings there and these old ones, well, they look a bit um, like a uh, proper sort of 50s and 60s style, almost like council, you know, like <laughs> looks like a council building. This one here, where the, the old control centre used to be with the big windows there, look at that there, look. Those windows are massive. OK, I'm just making my way out now because it's close to closing time here at Jodrell Bank in Cheshire. A little look at the radio telescope there and a little look around the place. I uh, hope you liked it. Headquarters of the Square Kilometre Array as well. How about that amazing UNESCO World Heritage Site? I hope you liked this video and if you do, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.